Today we're going to walk through planning and executing an Explore mission in an unknown environment with XNAI. As you can see from our initial scan, we have a building of interest in front of the robot. We might want to send a team of people in to investigate, so let's gather a map of the area in advance. To do that, we're going to use our Explore mission mode. We'll start by grabbing our Fly2 waypoint, which directs the robot towards an area of interest we want to explore. You can move the waypoints through X and Y space by grabbing the disk, and move it through Z by grabbing the orb in the center. We're going to set this waypoint just past the building to start our exploration. Now we can grab our explore volume much like the waypoint, using the squares at each corner to change the bounds of the volume. Let's set an area of interest about 100 meters back at an elevation of 15 to 20 meters. And that's it. Our mission is set. All that's left to do is press play and let the robot explore. I switched our camera view so we're locked onto the robot's position to follow it in real time. You can access that through the menu icons on the left side of XView. As the robot starts its mission, you can see a small green box that represents the robot's goal, which it chooses for itself. The larger green box represents a safe flight corridor. As long as communications are available, you can watch this robot maneuver in real time. Wow, we've got some really interesting structures towards the back of this space we'll want to investigate. Okay, now the robot's going into an area I don't want it to go, so I'm going to send it home. You can do that by pressing the home button on the right menu bar. Nice! The robot really shot the gap on the way home. Not sure a human pilot could have done that. Even after that short mission, we have a detailed map we can use to send in a team with way more situational awareness than they had standing in front of that building. And after the robot lands, we can extract the raw point cloud straight through XView. Mission accomplished.